today we are celebrating one of a math teacher's most favorite days of the year. We are celebrating Pi Day, which actually was on Saturday, but we didn't have school on Saturday, so it's very sad. Why is that, Why is March 14th uh, the day that we celebrate Pi Day? It's because March is the third month of the year, and 14th, so 3.14, that's how we get Pi Day. Um, so it's one of my favorite days to celebrate in class, but because we're not in class, we're going to celebrate together via the internet. So first of all, let's review what pi is. How did we get pi? Where did this 3.14159 with trillions of other numbers, where did that come from? So let's look at how that number was calculated. Okay, so this is where pi comes from. So the diameter of this circle is about two inches. So I have a pipe cleaner that is measured out at two inches. I actually have four of them. So I, if I take these pipe cleaners and I place it around the side, so this is the diameter of the circle, but I'm gonna place it around the sides. So there's one, two, three, so it's three whole ones, and now we have this tiny piece in the middle. That's where that 0.14 with that super long decimal comes from, is that little portion right there. So now that we have reviewed how pi is calculated, let's look at area and circumference of a circle. How can we use pi? What are we using it for? So one thing that we can use it for is to calculate the distance around the circle. This is not the area on the inside. This is just the, the outer surface of the, the circle. Okay, so there are two formulas that we can use in order to calculate um, the cir circumference. The first one is with the radius. And the radius, if you can remember correctly, and Ms. Claire's going to show you the radius is from the center point of the circle to the outside. Thank you, Ms. Claire. Thank you. Okay. The diameter is the entire length of the inside of the circle. So from one side to the other side. Okay. So if we are using the radius, we're going to use um, the radius of this circle that we um, that I just showed you. So the two, we're going to have a two times, we're going to use 3.14 for pi, I'm going to round it, times the radius, which the radius of this circle was just one, right, because the diameter was two, so this is just going to be one, okay, or we could use the diameter, if we use the diameter, it would just be pi times diameter, which the diameter of this circle was two, so two inches times 3.14, Either way you do it, you're going to get the same thing. Um, it would still be 6.28. And this was in inches. And because it is circumference, it's just going to be inches. Our units are not going to be squared. Okay. Now let's look at area. So for area, we have to use um, the radius of the circle. We cannot use the diameter. If you have the diameter, you can divide it by 2 in order to find the radius. So let's um, put 3.14 times our radius, which was, we know it was one, and we're gonna square it. So we know that uh, one squared, one times one, is going to still give you one times 3.14, okay? 3.14 times one is still going to give you 3.14. And when we have area, we are going to square our units. So our units were in inches, so we're going to have square inches. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so your assignment is going to be find 10 things around your house. You have a, um, a worksheet in your folder. Um, find 10 things that are circular around your house or have a circular base. Um, it could be a vase. Um, it could be a cookie. Um, it could be a clock on the wall. It could be anything. Find 10 things around your house. Um, find, um, use the um, ruler that was sent home with you. Find the um, radius and the diameter in inches and calculate the area and circumference for each one. When you have finished this, take a picture and send it to me. Also, if you get a chance to celebrate today by eating 
pie or pizza, take a picture and send it to me. Um, but make sure you wash your hands first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to enjoy some right now. See you later.